So I've been requested to talk a little bit about virtue theory and utilitarianism in comparison to one another. But the first question is regarding eudaimonia. And what do I mean by it's more spiritual rather than physical? Now, I would like you to think about the Christian ethical system. So, why should... Now, I'm going to look at very simply. I'm not going to look at all the other factors and situation, ethics, natural law, all the other ways Christians do ethics. But simply, think about it. You're a Christian. Why should you follow the Bible? Why should you not steal, follow the Ten Commandments? Why should you do that? So that God doesn't punish you. But more so, so that you can go into heaven. Now, when you think about heaven, what do you visualise? And this is what I visualise, that if I was going to heaven, what would happen is, I would go at the gates, God would come at the gates to meet me, the gates would open, there would be loads of clouds, there would be angels, and basically, I would live for eternity in eternal bliss. That's, in essence, why Christians should be moral. Now, look at virtue theory on the other hand. Why does Aristotle think you should follow it? So that you can reach eudaimonia. Eudaimonia translates as human flourishing. Now, in other textbooks, you may see as happiness. Now, this is not the exact or precise um, definition. However, it helps to explain what Aristotle means. Now, to explain what Aristotle means, I'm going to use a very unrealistic and basic example. Now, think about a village. In this village, only 10 people live. Now, they all follow virtue theory exactly, and they do everything uh, in order to fulfill the virtues. They never do anything that would be considered immoral or follow any other type of moral system or their emotions in essence, they are basically just following virtue theory. Eventually, they reach eudaimonia. Now, what does this mean? How I like to think about it is this means that they are all, the village is performing, functioning perfectly. Humans have flourished. They're shining. Why are they shining? Everything's perfect. Their work, the production, what's happening, how the uh, village um, works, how you respect one another. Because all these people have fulfilled all their virtues, they're living in eude eudaimonia, which is a type of spiritual bliss. You could think about it if you want to compare it to heaven. And that's what I mean. It's not physical that you're going to see like clouds and all this. It means that in your life, things will start to be working perfectly, if you know what I mean. And you would have fulfilled all the virtues. Now, I had a question regarding the difference between utilitarianism and, and virtue theory. Now, in essence, both of them are extremely different. Now, when you look at virtue theory, you should be moral by following your virtues and doing any action which helps to fulfill these virtues. Why do you want to fulfill your virtues? Why to be moral? As discussed before, so that we can reach a stage of human flourishing, eudaimonia. Now think about utilitarianism. Why, I mean, how can you determine whether an action is correct or on eudaimonia? To be correct, the action must uh, pro uh, provide the greatest good for the greatest number. Why follow utilitarianism? Why follow greatest good for greatest number? Because it's utilitarianism is consequentialist and you want to follow it. There is no, like, by following uh, utilitarianism you are going to go to heaven or you're going to do this. Just like in virtue theory, it's like you're going to go to eudaimonia. That's the key distinction I would like to draw out. But they are, both theories are very uh, interconnected in my opinion. And I quote Bren, Ben Franklin, a scholar, who once said that, actually, virtues are extremely important in utilitarianism. He was a utilitarian. Now, why are they extremely important? Because if we fulfill the virtues, then in essence, we can see in main, in quite a few situations that we start producing the greatest amount of pleasure for the greatest number of people by being virtuous. So there is a, a link there. But we're going to try and just put this link to one side and see the difference between. So difference is eudaimonia is the reason you want to follow virtue theory. What is the reason you want to follow um, utilitarianism? Sorry, You want to follow utilitarianism because it's consequentialist and it has many advantages. So that's the first distinction. And obviously when you're looking at the difference between them, well 
clearly there's a difference because they both calculate what is a moral thing to do in different ways. As we mentioned for Aristotle, it's about the virtues. For utilitarianism, you can use a hedonic calculus, or you'll look at the types of pleasures involved, or you'll look at whose preferences are being affected. You'll be doing some kind of cost-benefit analysis for utilitarianism, whereas for eudaimonia, um, sorry, for veg theory, it's more like you will just know whether this is going to help you fulfill the virtue or not. The major, major distinction, which I'm forgetting, is between the two theories, is that virtue theory is, agent, is an agent-centered theory. That means the whole theory is focused upon developing the agent, on the agent, how is the agent going to cope, i.e. me, if I'm a virtue theorist, then how will I cope? I'm the agent How is focused upon my actions, my character, my virtues. Whereas if we look at utilitarianism, it's a consequentialist theory. You focus on the consequences. You look at the consequences to determine whether an action is moral or not. And I think there lies the key distinction between two. One is agent-centered and one is uh, consequentialist. Both have their own benefits, just like Kant's deontological absolute theory will have its benefits. However, which one you prefer is for you to decide. Now, I hope this uh, video helps to make things a little bit more clearer in terms of the distinction between two. But I really suggest you watch my other videos on single virtue theory or single utilitarianism to give you a greater understanding of the theories. Thank you for watching and please continue to keep in contact with me.